you know what? If you've seen Al's True Life Stories, you're starting to know the real Albert and what I've gone through. You're starting to know that I watched my biological dad get killed in front of my face. That I was ripped away from my family a few weeks later. You're starting to know that I live on less than $700 a month. You're starting to know that I have every reason on earth to be a bitter, middle-aged man. You're starting to know I have every reason to be extraordinarily depressed, maybe locked up in an institution, and sad, and... Psh, I mean, you're starting to know how tough my life is 24-7. In addition to having a medical problem, a physical medical problem. You're starting to know all this. But you know what else you're starting to know? If you're really paying attention, that I have an unbroken spirit and an undying faith and an endless, endless source of hope. Think about all that I have accomplished in the last eight years, being on live television in the last five. All this, I may not be getting paid right now, but all this from the man you now know what I've been going through. I've never been into a home for psychological problems, never taken any psychological medicine, never had any psychological therapy or anything. So what actually keeps me sane? It's my love of life. It's my love of, okay, God. And I don't read the Bible, I'm not going to lie. And I don't go to church all that much. So it's not that I'm this deep, devoted guy. Oh, I'm very devoted to the Lord, to God, big time. I love atheists, I love Christians, I love everybody. And I'm very devoted to the Lord God, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, I see the true essence. And I know the true essence of what the Creator is and wants us to be. And yes, I'm in extreme poverty and been through all this stuff. But look what I'm doing. Now, I ask you, if I can be going through this and still hopefully, hopefully inspiring at least a few people out there and hopefully changing lives and improving your life, what can you do? How much more of an extension of your physical, financial, or educational extension, how much more can you do?